Big Rays Wrestling Show. I just love talking wrestling. So about, I don't know, I think it was about, um, hmm, about three years ago, I interviewed this, this, uh, this wrestler, very popular in the New York scene, big dude from the Isle of Malta. He's the nephew of Baron Mikel Sucluna, WWE Hall of Famer. He's known as Malta the Damager. And the last time I interviewed the guy, it didn't go so good. Now, my, my last question to you is, I mean, a lot of people tend to always make fun of wrestling. You know, I mean, they always say it's a bunch of guys rolling around half naked. You know, they, they, they basically say wrestling is well, fake. Well, how do you feel about that? You think it's fake? You think wrestling is fake? You think wrestling is fake? Malta the Damager is the only real thing in professional wrestling. The only real thing. But anyway, he invited me out to uh to talk to him and uh, a good buddy of his so I said screw it let's do it let's see what happens and uh, who knows maybe uh, it'll be better this time around I mean it has been almost three years so anyway so uh, it's actually if you look at my clock here it's almost one o'clock in the morning here in New York City I'm exhausted but when a guy that size calls you, you got to answer. All right, guys, well, join me for this interview, and uh, we'll see how this uh, whole thing works itself out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Big Ray for OneWrestling.com, YouTube backslash One Wrestling Video. Now, today, like around 12 o'clock, yes, I said 12 o'clock at night. I'm talking about midnight. I got a phone call. Now, Bill After actually reached out to me and told me that Former guest here at OneWrestling.com, Malta the Damager, wanted to speak to me, wanted to have a conversation with me. Now, the last time Malta the Damager and me were together in one place, Malta, you were basically slapping me in the face and throwing me into a, into a freaking locker. I mean, do you have anything to say about that? You got what you deserved. If you want to talk trash, if you want to try to say that professional wrestling or if anybody wants to say professional wrestling is fake, you're going to get the same answer. A slap upside the head. I, I, I wasn't. Yeah, listen, if more than the damage I was slapping you around and, and throwing you around to walls or anything, I'm sure there was a valid reason, wasn't there, Malta? It doesn't matter what it is, but I'm sure I trust my part that there was a valid reason. I, 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 I was just basically going to thank you for throwing me into the locker because when you threw me into the locker, my back issues were straightened out and my spine was aligned. And thank you for, I mean. <laughs> Anyway, so listen, so you have me here. It, it, we're, we're here at Hell's Gate. What, what bridge is this over here? Where are we? Well, you're the sports journalist, am I correct? Yes. You're the sports journalist? Been doing it so for a while, man. you're over here to cover professional wrestling, right? Yes, sir. And I'm here to tell you that this man right here, Johnny Valletta, is the biggest thing to come out from pro wrestling from Malta since Baron Shakuna. All right, this man right here has the heart of a lion and he has got the desire to win and make it all the way to the top of the business. He's fought all over Europe right now. This is his first tour in America since he's been here. We've been competing as a tag team called the Maltese Marauders and we're taking on everybody every week, everywhere. 
So if we're coming to your federation, you better watch out. We're out to get championship gold. We want to take the straps everywhere. We're dominating professional wrestling in America, dominating professional wrestling in Europe. Maltese Marauders, baby. We do what we want. We take what we want. Now, now, what, what, what I what I found out, and being the journalist that I am, is that, sir, you basically founded the very first professional wrestling school on the Isle of Malta. Is that correct? That's correct. Um, there was no wrestling. There, there was no wrestling when I when I started out. I had to move out of the country. That shows the passion I have for the business and the love for the business. What I'm ready to do. What I'm ready to give up to make it in this business. I left the UK when I was just 19 years old. A couple of dollars in my pocket, made it there. Wrestled all, all over UK, all over Europe, made big contacts. Then I returned back to my hometown, my home country of Malta, to give the opportunity to other guys who, who never had it before, who still want to be part of this business, open wrestling school, open the promotion. At the same time, I was still dominating Europe, all UK, and now I'm here in the States with my partner, as he said, to dominate the East Coast, start from here. Now, now, now Malta, now, before we run down, like, you know, I, I know you guys are here in the United States to actually take over the tag team division here in, in this great country of professional wrestling, but before we jump into that, I mean, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I've interviewed a bunch of young indie talents, and I do see something in your eyes. I, I can't really pinpoint it, but it's, it, it, it's a combination of hunger, a combination of desire, a little bit of anger. What, what is it that we're seeing in this young man's eyes? What you're looking at in his eyes is the heart of a lion, the mind of a warrior, some person who is dedicated. And he, he does not want to accept to be number two in the world. This man's goal is to be number one. And I've been in the business, and I've been up and down the wrestling pike, and I've been all over the world myself, all right? And I'm telling you, Johnny Valletta is the one to watch. Now, you guys basically are going to be competing here on the east coast of New York City, or New York, basically. Um, can you tell us where you're going to be if we want to see you guys actually competing? and? Do you think there's an opportunity for you guys to actually win tag team gold anytime soon? Well, if you've been um, checking our recent matches, we've been dominating everywhere we go. We've been beating our opponents and we're just showing what Maltese wrestlers are all about at the end of the day, right? We're, um, we're booked all over New York, all over Pennsylvania mainly, where we are at the Sanctuary. Um, every Friday, WXWC4, this coming Saturday, and we're um, we're competing for um, fight the world FPW wrestling and, and evolve, evolve in a joint show that's coming up in Woodside Queens at La Boom. All right, Maltese warrior breeds. We're gonna show the world that Malta is producing the best professional wrestlers. Um, can I have that back, please? Thank, thank you. Um, I kind of need this. Anyway, um, so here's here's the last question. I, I mean, now you guys, again, are going to be, you're going to be working kind of like a combo show with Evolve. Evolve is a very prominent uh, indie federation here in the United States, man. I mean, you have a chance to actually kind of show off what you got. I mean, he's been showing off for over 20 years what he has. And, you know, I say this, you know, a young indie wrestler, you know, you can have the physique. You got the physique. You can have a look. You got the look. But it's like a it's like a real cool sports car. It looks good on the outside, but do you have the fuel, the fire on the inside? Now you're feeding off of this man right here, who I believe is the fuel and the fire. This guy trained again by WWE Hall of Famer Baron Mikel Cicluna, his nephew, a bloodline coming from greatness. So, how do you fuel a young man like this? How do you keep this guy hungry? You don't have to. This man is a beast. We're marauders. We we just stomp over everybody we run rampant we bulldoze and we steamroll we drive people into the ground like a hammer does a nail all right how do i keep this guy amped up i gotta try to keep up with this guy i'm telling you this man is a beast johnny valletta 
guys better remember that name. Because this man here is insane. Mr. Valletta. I, 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 I kind of get a little nervous when they do stuff like that. But Mr. Valletta, here's the deal. Let me ask you a question. Again, I, I see, I talk about the fire in your eyes. I talk about the desire in your heart. I talk about all that cool stuff. But you seem to be, to me, what we would call here in the United States, a silent killer. Is that who you are? Well, I I keep my actions in the ring. You know, I deal, deal with, with my opponents in the ring. I don't need to show off and talk trash beforehand. And and with what you said before, how do I keep myself hungry? How do I keep myself hungry? I, I, I don't have um, what these guys here have, all the opportunities they have all around them, uh, drive a couple of minutes here and then to get to the shows. I had to leave my own country to wrestle. I wanted this since I was eight years old and I'm gonna do everything, I'm gonna keep doing everything to accomplish what I want. So, I mean, listen, I'm not just kissing up here, but it appears to me, Malta, that you actually found what we would call in the wrestling business, a diamond in the rough. A prodigy. He is a prodigy. He is definitely the next big breakout star from the island of Malta. He's a humble guy, he is. He does his talking in the ring. But you don't want to see this man upset. All right? Show him what you got. Show him your guns, baby. All right? That says I everything. I hard for days. Show him what you got, baby. All right? Ah! Yeah! All right? That's what we want. That's what we want to do. All right? Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. You like that. Come on. You like that. Ah! Come on. All Jesus. right, yes. I, 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 I really don't know exactly. Okay, 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 okay calm We're down. We're starting to rage. Please, please, no. <laughs> hold don't on, start, hold on. Don't, don't start us. All right, hold on, you want to know, you wanna know what gets us excited? Please. The only problem is if there's no. nobody around to beat up, we start beating we up on each other. other. All right, we because we, we want to fight. Us. We want to fight. We want to compete. There's no time to sleep. You were talking about before, about what time it is. We're doing this stuff 24-7. Our lives is going up and down the road, professional wrestling. You wouldn't know what it's about. You have to walk a mile in my shoes, but I don't even think you could take a step. Oh, I kind of needed that hand. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Big Ray for OneWrestling.com. I think these guys are gonna, it's gonna be really tough to beat. And uh, if you indie wrestlers out there who claim to be a impressive tag teams, well, impressive. Have you seen the size of us? Have you seen the size of us together? Impressive. No one's as, as impressive as the Maltese Marauders. That's for sure. Well, impressive is the operative term to describe these two professional wrestlers, or as I call them, beasts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is, is, before we leave Hell's Gate, is there anything you want to say to the fans here at OneWrestling.com? definitely want to come out and check out the Maltese Marauders wherever we are. Wherever we are, we come to bring pain, devastation. Mm -hmm. We're leaving nothing standing. There'll be no buildings standing. There'll be no street lights. There'll be no people. We're leaving nothing. We're totally annihilating anything and anyone in our path. You know what I got to say? No matter who you are, you think you're a star? I'm the Galactus of pro wrestling. I devour stars like planets until only we reign supreme. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, Big Ray for OneWrestling.com. Why the hell does Bill Apter always do these things to me? We'll see you at the matches. And like I always say, I would do this for a living, but if I can, I would do it anyway. Why? Because I love talking wrestling, and I think I got to get out of here before I get my ass handed to me.